One day I'm gonna be everything I wanna be. I don't let it get the most of me. One day I'm gonna be free. I wanna be everything I'm gonna be. My future right in front of me. One day I'm gonna be free. Yes, sir. Much love and respect to everybody. Hopefully, everyone's having a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, wherever the hell you guys are from. It's morning time for me, so we've got the coffee out. Much love. Get it. So, good morning, everybody. Um, we have an interesting show today. Um, to be quite honest, I have not even read this article. Like, I wanted to save a live reaction for you guys. And most of the time, that's actually how I like to do it. I like to be able to kind of get the few first few lines of the narrative of how these people are, you know, reporting. And then what I like to do is bust it down in real time. You know what I mean? Hey, we got Twitch up in the building. Let's see. We got um how sec sexy. Oh, I get it. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, bro. I haven't seen you in forever. Hope all is well, my man. Thank you so much. Yes, it's it's going very well. Um, I'm mainly live over here on YouTube. So anybody that's watching on any other platform, you guys, my main channel is on YouTube at Insane Wheels. Um, love the opening song, Mike. A hey, hardware. I appreciate that, man. It sounds almost like a 80s cartoon song. You know what I mean? Like an 80s metal cartoon song. Like that's kind of like what I was going for when I made it. Yo, we got Steve up in the building. Good morning. Um, and only the only Chase. What up, Ka? Um, I see you as well. And if you know, you know, absolutely. Oh, it's Tess. What up, Tess? Oh my God. It's been so long since I've seen you. Shout out to you for being in here. Sincerely. We got our brother Pitbull from London, England. Man. Everything's going well over here. And, uh, he's hoping that everyone's having a good day and saying hi to the entire chat. We got Miss Lotus up in the building as well. Shout out to you. Look at all this beautiful merch that she made. This is what she's made, y'all. Look at this. Like, all sorts of really cool, really cool things, man. Look at this flask. So badass. But anywho, guys, we got Duke up in the building as well. Hopefully you haven't forgotten me. Oh, my goodness. How could I forget about you, Tess? There's no way I could. It's just hilarious because I can only tell people's like i can't even see all i can see is your your username and your and your profile pic so i it's not like i was really able to tell but i see you up in the building duke much love my man we got travis up in here saying uh more from h-town texas shout out to texas man i like metal ocalypse or whatever that show was yeah i remember that i remember that yep that was cartoon network i think Yes, sir. Good morning. We got our coffee as well, y'all. It's been forever, man. Uh, I'll try to be around. Got some stuff going on. Best to you, dude. Absolutely, Tess. Best to you as well. Thank you for being here. And guys, we're live on Twitch right now. Twitch.tv uh, backslash ball valve. So if you guys ever want to, or I guess that's actually a forward slash. My bad. Um, and you can find me on Twitch as well. Uh, yes, Frank. Everyone show him love in the chat for Miss Lotus. Got to love that. 
So we've got a very interesting show. Let's go ahead and without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this after I get one sip in. Hold on. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. So notorious pagan motorcycle club leader and rally uh, sentenced to 75 years in federal prison. Oh, shit. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. So, swastika motorcycle helmets, decorated axe handles for beatings, and a wall hanging that read, Violence, the Miracle Cure for Ignorance. Not going to lie. That actually sounds pretty badass. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's pretty dope. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's provided the backdrop Friday when U.S. Attorney Michael Easley announced that Christopher Lamar Baker will serve 75 years in federal prison for crimes he committed as a national leader of the Pagan Motorcycle Club. So Baker, being 49 of Raleigh, was convicted of drug trafficking, firearm, and money laundering charges in September after he was arrested in November of 2021. Man, it always gets drug out for so many years, dude. It's crazy. Um. He was one of 20 people arrested in the Operation Diamond Ice. Have you guys ever heard of Diamond Ice? An ongoing multi-organization effort to disarm and dismantle outlaw motorcycle gangs, according to Special Agent Beanie or Benny, yeah, Benny Mims, of the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Of course, that's ATF, right? According to Easley, Baker was one of the 13, a group of 13 national leaders who oversee the purchasing, trafficking, and distribution of methamphetamine and Ill other illegal firearms. The Pagans also came to local attention earlier this year when Jonas Barrett Padilla, 37, was shot and killed in Raleigh on New York, oh, New Year's Day while riding his motorcycle at the site where he died on Valley Estates Drive, a roadside memorial had the name Lefty written on it and the letters GFPD, a common moniker of the pagans. Five members of the rival Red Devil Gang have been charged for his murder. Holy shit. Okay, let's take a second. That was a lot there. That was a lot there. You know what I mean? Let's, let's cool the jets. Um, 75 years is no joke and they're doing some throwing out some crazy accusations. You know what I mean? Uh, of course they're going to, this is natural. This is what they do, whether it's true or not. You know, most of the time this kind of stuff is not true. And then they just deem, oh, well he was the leader. And these people over here years ago, they used to do drug distribution and all of that. And so now we're going to tie them into drug trafficking. These guys over here, they have done this come on, you know, crime. Now they're going to tie everything. You know, that you never know how this shit works. You know what I mean? We got Big Drift up in the building. Shout out to you. My man up in here. Um, we got Road Rage as well saying a flyby hello. Work has hop work has me hopping right now. Well, hey, that's that's the type of stuff I'm on. I'm always on the hopping time. You know what I mean? No pun intended. I wish I had a leg to stand on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh, man. You got to love it. Um, Steve Easy says, my neck of the woods. The feds have been coming at everyone hard here. Yeah, Steve, you know what's funny is obviously reading this, I knew that you're in the general area. And I was actually going to call you out on this and go, have you heard of any of this going on? You know what I mean? Because you're in that area. You're a biker. You're somebody that is in tune with this kind of stuff. So this is uh, definitely interesting to say the least. Um. They're going to use a Rico. Hey, that's that's always the big possibility. And that's what, you know, clubs are scared of. Absolutely. All right. So let's go ahead and dive back into it. So up the gang ranks is what they say here for this section. So in parentheses or in quotes, the pagans are the one of the most notorious outlaw motorcycle gangs around the world. Easily uh, said during a news conference at the U.S. District Courthouse in Raleigh. Baker slowly worked his way up the pagan ranks, first as a chapter president in Raleigh, before eventually becoming a state, the national leader. In addition to his role uh, in 
the drug trade, Baker was infamous, violent enforcer of the gang's rules. To punish a pagan pledge, allegedly caught uh, stealing from another member. Easily said Baker ordered the pledge's fingers to be cut off with a table saw. Now, hold on. If that's for real, like, dude, I kind of, I'm kind of in favor. Now, I'm being funnier, but I'm kind of in favor to be real with if you steal, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing worse than a liar and a thief. You know what I mean? And if you're going to be either of those things, I really do like the old school thinking of like, hey, we're going to make it to where you can't steal again. You know, we're going to take off your 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 fingers or we're going to take off your your hand or whatever. You know, I think that's a very old school way of dealing with those type of things. Right. Um, and it is an election year, uh, Duke. That's that always makes things just more and more heated, as always. You know, it's just up for debate nonstop. Anyway, let's get back into it. Okay, so um, he also ordered the mem the murder of an individual who had sold him fake drugs. Well, I'd be pissed off too. ATF officials said the targeted individual was put into protective custody and was not harmed. Protective custody. It's always some PC crap, dude. Uh, Christopher Baker was incredibly violent. Uh, easily said. So of course here they're showing off uh, like a, these are pictures. These aren't even like actual vests or anything. These are actual just pictures put onto a board. Uh, as you guys can see, you know, they show some samurai swords. They show, you know, their, their moniker, you know, violence, the miracle cure for ignorance. Uh, a couple of Swazis, you know, you guys obviously know that has nothing to do with race or anything like that or racism has more to do in the biker culture. It just means different things. Um, and let's see, this says God makes the lightning pagans, uh, make the thunder. Now that's, I like that. So it says down here underneath the photo says Christopher Lamar Baker of Raleigh faces 75 years in prison after being convicted of crimes while a leader of the pagan motorcycle club. Oh shoot. All right. So let's, let's continue on. Over a 15-month investigation, which is always a long-ass investigation in these, uh, you know, where people are coming in, being, uh, you know, whether they're law enforcement that's open and they're just sitting there, you know, recording them across the street, or if they actually had somebody that was infiltrating the club. But law enforcement agents discovered that Baker supplied 268 kilograms, holy shit, or nearly 600 pounds. <laughs> Stop the cat. That's no joke of methamphetamine to the Raleigh area and across the East Coast. Baker's methamphetamine and firearm uh, su suppliers lived in the Atlanta area, according to a news release, and he would have members of the Pagans drive him from North Carolina to pick up the drugs and weapons to distribute in North Carolina and surrounding states. Throughout Operation Dime Nice, officials seized 46 firearms from pagan members and their affiliates, including many illegal machine guns. Okay, well, then show them. I, I've yet, all I saw up there was literally like three different uh, swords. So I, I'm not really sure where the evidence of that is. And even if they did take 46 firearms, I guarantee you they're like all legal. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not making excuses or I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not even going to assume because it's I don't see any of the, the pictures or anything. This is just what they said. Raleigh Police Chief Estella Patterson said her department was proud to be a part of this operation. Well, I'm damn sure that you were. I mean, it, anything that's motorcycle club related and it's an operation, you know, it's going to get covered and, you know, it's going to be seen by a lot of people. It's kind of like you got the worst of the worst, you know. All right, so distrib by distributing a illegitimate criminal enterprises that seek to traffic gun guns, drugs into our community, we send a message that we will not tolerate the harm these dangerous organizations cause, Patterson said. Although 12 pagans and two of their drug suppliers were arrested in this operation, at easily Mims and Patterson could not say that the organization is defunct. 
Now, what does defunct mean? I have never seen that word, so I'm going to have to go ahead and copy and paste this. Define. Let's go ahead and look it up real quick. What happened to it? I just typed it in. Okay. No longer in effect or use, not operating or functioning. Boom. Okay. We got it. That was that quick. You know what I mean? Um, so lower ranking members could potentially continue the local chapter by filling higher roles. Okay. So this, I'm not really sure why they included. Okay. So this is just the next story. I understand. Okay. So that's very, very interesting. Uh, this is that story. You know, there, it, it almost feels like it's left on a cliffhanger. Doesn't it feel like that almost? But it's kind of like they didn't have like proper closers there. But nonetheless, it's, it's interesting to say the least. Uh, let's see what you guys in the chat have to say about this so far. All right. Take off a thumb. What? What? Uh, let's see. Hardwire says, Mike, it was good talking to you yesterday on the phone, brother. All y'all should know Mike is a good dude for reals, not just an act for the show. Wow. Thank you, Hardwire. Dude. I sincerely appreciate you, man. You know, like anybody that, that shows love to the show, shows love to me, you know, stands up for me, whatever the case is, I'm always, I'm, I'm very, very personal with you guys. You know what I mean? It's, a, it's different on different shows. I understand that. With me, I'm just... I'm all about you guys, you know, like it, there is no show. And I say it all the time. There's no show without you guys. So, um, you know, people forget about that. <laughs> uh, Pitbull says the chip of your left hand at Singap uh, Singapore for stealing. Yeah. So, you know, I kind of, I chop, I see what you're saying. So yeah, I'm kind of old school that way. I just kind of like thinking the old way. Uh, many cut off the right hand of thieves. Yeah, exactly. Uh, nowadays, there are more protective custody and SNY fools than GP. Yeah, there's ge generally way more PC than uh, general population, it seems like. Anyways, obviously, that's not true. But, of course, you know what I mean? It's it's kind of crazy how many people get PC'd up. Um, or at least they used to. Uh, yeah, you know, some countries still practice that kind of uh, thing if you were to steal from them or whatever. Pitbull says, my dad lived there when he was a kid, and it's still a law. Holy shit. That's literally an no oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yo, we got Ghost Eagle as well. Shout out to you. Thank you for being in here, my man. Thank you guys for all of you guys for being in here hanging out with me. I actually had a good 10 of you that were in here, the, the live stream, before the live had even started. So I'm officially calling everybody that comes into the chat before the live because I always put it up an hour early. And then I'll see you guys start trickling in about 30 minutes to go. And I'm going to call you guys, drum roll please, The Breakfast Club. That's what I'm calling you guys from now on. Sorry, I was wrong. Then I thought it was left and then right. I'm sorry for the misinformation. No, dude, that's, that's the way it goes. Absolutely. Um, convicted while a member doesn't mean being a member had to do shit with it. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's that's exactly 1000% the truth. How are you going to tie in the whole organization? Just because you're a part of an organization or the leader or any of that doesn't mean any of those decisions were ever made. You know, it's always a rogue person or a rogue um, subset, like a clique. You know what I mean? It's never the whole organization going, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. You know, we're going to go ahead and kill this agent and we're going to go ahead and sell all these drugs. Then we're going to do this traffic. No, that doesn't happen. You know, that's cap. Seriously. Stop the cap. Oh my goodness. SNS the, the right, because you eat with the right and wipe with the left. So it's a disgrace. Wow. So that, that's how they deem like which hand, you know what I mean? That's crazy. Uh, Duke says second amendment doesn't, say how many guns you can have exactly there is nothing wrong like legitimately if if let's just say the atf were to raid me or the police or whatever and let's say that i had 100 firearms there's nothing wrong with that as long as they're, as they're legal obviously and i'm not some like violent felon then obviously it's it's fine you know what i mean but see people look at it and go oh he had this many guns there's a reason for that 
Like, shut up, dude. You know what I mean? For real. Let's see. Hardware says, uh-oh, following orders without questioning when they should leave. Uh, should, wait, should have. Often people just do shit hoping to help a brother and hoping not to get wrapped up in it. Not always smart. And that right there is also facts. Absolutely. And he says, sounds like they made a lot of speculation. They did. Where was the evidence? All those, all those claims that they, they put into that article, where was the evidence? You know what I mean? Other than you just typing it out and putting it into a blog, what's the proof? And even if you did have a lineup of 64 guns, that still doesn't prove anything. There's so many times that we have these firearms out on display. Like, look at what the department took from them. And then you look at them, and they're all like hunting rifles. And even if they were, even if they were AR-15s or any of that, the bad boy guns, you know what I mean? Even if they were that, they're still fine. I'm not really sure why. Uh, well, I, I know why, but it's it's just used against you nonstop. If you're a firearms person or have any, you're going to be deemed like, oh, look at what he was planning to do. Shit like that. It's, it's, it's all speculation, just like you said. Steve Easy says, after last summer, I wouldn't be surprised if... The feds are uh, lurking around North Carolina. And why am I hearing something? Oh, shit. How did it just start playing on my phone? I was like, how am I double hearing myself? There we go. Um, surprised if the feds are lurking around North Carolina and watching anyone in a patch. No, that's exactly what they do. Like I was saying, it could be a police officer, part of this uh, whole, I guess, raid or whatever you want to call it. You have some cops that are not hiding. They're not sit, meaning in the sense that they're not trying to infiltrate the, the actual club. You have the cops across the street that are in the van that are listening into your conversations. You have the guy that's on the other van recording that shit. And then you have the next guy who is the uh, infiltrator, right? You always, you always have the cops that are going to be, that's exactly what they're going to be doing. And why wouldn't they? You know, that's that's their motive, I promise you. The love and respect goes both ways, brother. That's absolutely true, man. And I can't thank you enough for being here. What up? We got Brophy up in the building as well. Shout out to you. If you guys don't already know, me and Brophy are starting our own show as well. And it's going to be heavily about not only this culture, but it's going to be in a good light as well as, a, you know, any nonprofits. It's going to be really, really cool because he's, he's uh, a part of... Um, you know, a national motorcycle club and also a huge, you know, his club has a 501c3. And um, we're going to be going ahead and talking to everyone that's actually in the field, in the trenches and, um, you know, doing interviews and stuff like that. And th there's going to be so much that I, I can't wait for us to get into it, really. And we, we may even start this week, maybe next week. We'll see. We got Jimmy Rogers up in the building. Good morning to you, kind sir. I appreciate you for being here. Pitbull says, I wish we could have done um, to protect our family, even if they put a limit here in England as it is getting worse. So how is it owning a firearm in, in England if you can? Can you even own a 22? Are you allowed to have a 22 rifle or a 22 little pistol, like beep, 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 little pea shooter? I don't even know if you guys are allowed to have any of that shit, huh? You'll have to let me know in the chat. Just the facts and only the facts. And that's something that I was saying earlier uh, yesterday, Duke, is that I am always going to report just the facts. And whether it makes me look indifferent, good, bad, ugly, whatever, I don't care about that. My whole mission is to drive home the facts. You know what I mean? I'm not going to let shit just slide through. And that's why I, I, I tear down these, these articles and these blogs and go, well, that's not what happened there. Or maybe, hey, this is what could have happened. You know? Uh, Mike says the majority of the COA, FBI, DOJ, CIA are rogue. Yes, they are. The alphabet soup, man. They're, they're not going to just be advertising nonstop. Hey, I'm with the CIA. You know what I mean? Like, that's not happening. Even with the ATF. All right. SNS says, actually, Pitbull, now that I think about it, you were right because of the concept that I said, so you had to use the right hand for both. Dang, that's crazy. Steve Easy says, that's what if I ever have 
to do dirt, I ride solo. Dude, that's the whole thing is, is if I'm going to be honest, if you guys are ever going to do any type of dirt, literally don't do it with anybody else. You know what I mean? Like two can keep a secret if one's dead. You know, that's just the way it works. Um, Brophy saying what up to uh, Hardwire. Hardwire says, sounds like they did some creative fictitious writing to try to make it sound like the club itself had far more to do with it than they did. And like I said, it usually comes down to one, two, or three people or a, like a sub click, you know what I mean? of people that decide to do this rogue shit, go against the bylaws of the club and go on their own route to do what they want to do, which is usually making money selfishly, whatever. And then they get caught. Well, that's not the entire freaking organization's fault. How can you deem that? Like, I, I know the cops hate it when we do it to them. So why the hell do they do it to us all the time? I mean, it's obvious it's whoever's paying for it, you know? Mike says, my local riding club disclaimer, absolutely no one percent or activities love. Look, and that's that's totally fine too. You can just cover all bases doing that. Um, it, but honest truth is, is I don't even agree with that kind of statement because that in, insinuates that one percenters are all bad or they're doing all their activities are bad or negative, which is totally not true. You know what I mean? But I, I get I get the, the what you're getting at there though, you know? And there's nothing wrong with it. I just see it a different way. Uh, Pitbull says, SNS, it's just what my dad told me when I was younger to, to scare me to never steal, but I did watch my friend break his mate's finger once he found out he had stole from him and his, uh, and his kids and family. Wow. That's crazy, dude. That's, I mean, being able to see that, like, you know, watching, you know, break a finger in front of you like that. Yeah, that's pretty hardcore to be real. Um, Brophy says getting a CCW here in LA is hard, but you can get one. Yes, you can Brophy, but you have to actually show the sheriff's department. You have to show the sheriff that you are under active. Like you are actually scared of for your life now and that there is a threat. So that's the only way it works in California. Well, LA, you know I mean? And orange County too. You have to actually prove that you are, you are actively scared for life and that there's a threat. It's, but it's hardcore. And at, um, let's see, serious question. What is it considered? What's considered one percent of activities? I've never heard that before, and I've been around. Exactly. That's why I said what I said. Um, let's see. They are the alphabet mafia. Ghost Eagle. Facts. That's just, hey, look, we all know the biggest gang in the world is who? You know what I mean? Let's just be, let's just call a spade a spade. All right. Let's see. Mike says no handguns in the UK outside of kept and safe as at a shooting range. Wait, wait. So you're you're not allowed to own any handguns? And well, are you allowed to own a hand? See, this is what I don't get here. Are you allowed to own a handgun, but you're just not allowed to go anywhere with it? So you're allowed to have it in your home, meaning you're safe or whatever. That's interesting. Duke says three people can keep a secret when two are dead. Exactly. That was actually the saying I meant to say. <laughs> you know, I said two instead of three. Um, let's see here. Pitbull says, and then to get a license is much harder than USA. Also, there is a limit on calibration on guns as well, I believe. I guarantee you that's probably true. I guarantee you that's probably true. I, You know, it... Here in the U.S., it's very easy to, like, for instance, get your driver's license. You know, every other country is very strict. You know, like, it's it's not a right for you to drive. It's a total privilege, you know. And, and so it sounds like that they treat the firearms over there kind of, like, same as as that. Or, you know, actually worse. But anyways, not all 1% are bad, just the same uh, as not all cops are bad. Yeah, exactly. That's That's kind of what I was getting at. Um, the United States of America is a corporation. Washington, D.C. is a corporation. All of the alphabet agencies are unconstitutional co corporations, some on the stock market. Facts. <laughs> Absolutely a fact. I, I, I have no point of contention with that. That clause is gone. Yes, sir. 
All right, I have to disagree to become a Leo. You have to be a professional snitch, and there is no good snitch. I do agree with that. I do agree with that. Let's see what you guys have to say in here. The UK, you have to keep it at the shooting lodge, or that's what my brother told me. So wait, you can have a gun, but it has to stay. It can't even be in your own home. It's got to be at a at a shooting lodge or a shooting range for you to even use it. But what's the point of being able to fire the weapon off at a shooting range, but you're never allowed to take it out of the range? So what are you practicing for? Are you practicing to to like come over to America? Like what what's going on? That's so weird. Oh, I know, Steve. I do not care for the Leo pricks. Uh, I was using that as an example someone said the other day. Here in North Carolina, they give you a handgun with every fill-up of super unleaded. Dude, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, Brophy says, you do not need good cause anymore, uh, but have to pass the background. Oh, so wait, wait, wait. They do. They got away with that whole ordeal where they were making it where you had to be actively threatened and actively scared for your life to be able to get your CCW. Like that's how you know. I was explained that from the Orange County Sheriff. So I mean, and that's a that's more of a Republican uh, area than the rest of California, to be real, or at least the coast, the coast of California. That is like the only red part county of the coast of California. And it's actually on the map if you look it up. Dark Horse, what's good, brother? Appreciate you for being in here, my man. Thank you for being here. So guys, I thought this was a very interesting little uh, bit. You know what I mean? I'm glad that I was able to, uh, you know, debunk this a little bit, talk about it. Um, and yes, they do. Yes, they do, Duke. A thousand percent, they lie. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Remember, before we head out of here, please make sure you like, comment, and share. You know, guys, liking the, the videos is like handing a creator $5. Commenting is huge on engagement for our analytics as a channel to grow. And then you're sharing. When you share it, let's say you put it on Facebook or whatever. Like, that's huge. Doing word of mouth on the internet is sharing is that share button. So it really goes an extremely long way. Also guys, remember that my entire YouTube channel is demonetized. Okay. It's, it's, I have a 90 day suspension from a news media that put a strike in on my channel. So if you guys want to donate to the channel and also get a shout out, that's always something, whether I'm offline or, or online, when I get a donation, I always make sure that we do a shout out. So you can find that on Cash App at or dollar sign ball valve, and then for Venmo at ball valve. Also, guys, please remember to uh, follow my Instagram, my TikTok stuff like that. It's the same username as this right here, ball valve TV. That's where all of my social media stuff is. That's where I'm. You know, you guys can catch me doing all the normal things throughout the the, the day stuff I don't show on YouTube. And also that's where I correspond with a lot of you guys. You know, I, I actually message most of you guys through there. So I really, really appreciate it. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, uh, I really appreciate every single one of you for being here. Just enjoying a great show. Like, see, that means the world to me, man. Thank you. You want to get a CCW in any state, start a business that deals with cash. Yep. That is something that will definitely get you a CCW. Dumb, dumb, Yes, sir. Everybody, uh, everyone have a great day. Much love and respect. Much love, loyalty, honor, and respect. Uh, be safe, y'all. Enjoy the day. Steve says, um, so Brophy says, this uh, replaced good cause be of good moral character for applications submitted prior to January 1st of 2024 in L.A. County. Wow. Um, Mike says, I don't think you're even allowed to use a, a gun for self-defense in your own home in Canada. And it has to be unloaded and locked in a safe. Like, to me, that does not make any sense. So if somebody breaks into your freaking house, you're not allowed to shoot that guy? Like, like to me, that's crazy. What's the point of owning a gun at that point? What's the point? So anyways, I really appreciate all of you guys. Have a great day. And uh, we'll see you guys in 24 hours. Let's go ahead and leave you guys off with this. Please let me know in the chat what you guys think of the new channel intro. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you guys here in a little bit. From the depths of darkness, a voice emerges, a host with a fire burning in his soul. With a heart, steel, and a spirit, I'm broken. He rides on two wheels, ready to claim his throne. Amidst the chaos that
Thunder, the thunder's roar. It's a real strike, it's a force to be reckoned. 